In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the number one passing concept in Madden. I'm going to show you how to run it out of the Gun Bunch offset in the Colts playbook. Now, if you want to get my entire Gun Bunch offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. We've got several different versions of the bunch broken down. I think we've got four or five different bunch ebooks in there, over 25 offensive and defensive ebooks. You'll get access to all of them by becoming a Patreon member today. Ten bucks to get you access to everything over there. So if you want to sign up, the link is down in the description. So I want to go over um, really the number one passing concept in Madden. We're going to be utilizing the play mesh post to show you uh, how this play works. And what it is, is it's known in the real life as uh, the shallow cross concept. The shallow cross concept is essentially a dig and a drag route. But in the Madden community, what we're going to do, and we're going to make it a little bit more effective, is we're going to run a slant post concept because of the way the routes actually work, practically speaking. So I'm going to give you a quick example of what this looks like, what a shallow cross concept would really look like practically in real life. It looks something like this right here. So you've got the dig route and you've got this drag route right here. And if it's man coverage, oftentimes you're going to hit that dig route, right? Um, now in Madden, we're going to make this a little bit better because what we can do is we could do a concept that looks like this. You're not going to need any hot route master abilities. We're going to streak the left side receiver. We're going to slant the slot receiver. We're going to out route the tight end. And then we're going to take our running back and we're going to either block him over the middle of the field. We're going to put him on a table route. If you have hot route master, if you don't have any of that, put him on a simple out route. Super simple. And then we're going to motion snap the slant across the formation just like that. And our first read is this little man beating quick pressure release, quick out to the, to the right side. Now, the beauty of this slant post combo is it is really effective at attacking man coverage. So what you're going to notice here is we've got at least two or three routes on the play that are going to be very effective against man. This slant route is super glitchy, super effective against man coverage. The out route will pull out any zones, and you're able to throw that slant route right in that little pocket right there. So that's one of our key uh, reads against man coverage. Now, our second read against man coverage is if the user says that we're going to take away the slant route, then what we're going to do is we're going to basically throw this post once you see him getting that separation over the middle of the field. Now, if you have Hot Route Master... You can make an argument this year, especially this year, that the Hot Route Master post is actually better than any post in the game. And what you'll notice is this post has such a sharp cut that it's going to round consistently against man coverage. So you can put that Hot Route Master post out there if you want to utilize that against man coverage. Now another thing that I want to quickly point out is against press man-to-man -man coverage, one of the other secret routes in this is the streak to Michael Thomas. If you have short out elite and they don't have safety help, you've got a chance to be able to throw that over the top for a big play. Um, another route that you can actually merge really well within this scheme is a C route. If you're going to take your running back and put him on a flat anyway, then we're going to utilize this corner route or outside apprentice C route. What you'll notice with this outside apprentice C route is it is one of the most consistent man beaters in the game this year because it can kind of get into a soft spot against man coverage. Now, you can feel free to use that, especially if you're getting off man coverage. If you're getting off man coverage, the streak is really not that great of a read, but the C route is a great little opportunity. So if you have Hot Route Master, you can kind of tweak this play a little bit to make it more effective, more or less effective for uh, what you want to do. So as you can see right there, really effective uh, little concept. Another little secret variation of this play would be something like this right here. Um, this is kind of a super uh, man-beating friendly opportunity. This We're going to use this post route as our deep man-beater, and we're going to run a slant and a dig route concept here. So it's the same basic principle, okay? It's the same basic principle. It's just we're getting at it from different pockets. Again, you can run the same concept, 15 different ways, and this is why understanding principles and concepts is so much more important than anything else that I could teach you here on YouTube. So if you want to learn the specifics, again, make sure you're in the Patreon. But this play right here, uh, let me show it to you against zone real quick. So against zone coverage, the user is going to have to choose um, this route right here to see Lamb is one of the best zone beating routes in the game. There's not a zone in this game that's going to guard it, especially if you can user catch it uh, just like that. The other thing that has to happen is for them to stop our tight end flat route. They basically have to use they 
for on either side, whether it be the out routes or the flat routes, they have to play hard flats. So what that allows now is I can step up in this pocket. Of course, I got a little bit of a terrible throw there, but I can step up into the pocket and I can actually throw uh, the slant route against hard flats. And I'll show you that one more time here. Uh, so if they're going to go user, if they're going to go user the the slant or the I apologize. If they're going to go use of the post, then you'll see here that this slant, what I want to do is I want to highball it right in that little seam. And you see here how this play can really start to break down a lot of coverages in this game. So we're able to beat man. We're able to beat zone really easily with this play. We're also going to be able to beat match coverage. Um, you're going to see right here, same exact concept. What you'll see against match coverage here is that three rec is going to be guard, guarding that player. As you can see right there, he's guarding the slant. But if you understand match, you're going to know that guess who the three rec hook defender is going to be. The three rec hook defender is going to be their user. A lot of times what's going to happen is their user is going to go guard this post route and then subsequently, there's not going to be anybody to guard the slant. So again, same basic thing. And you see here the slant is wide open if the user decides that he's got to go guard that post route. So shallow cross, really what we're getting at here is when we can pull these flat zones out of the way. And we can force the opponent to have to uh, kind of basically be a, in no man's land in the middle of the field then it's really going to open up a lot of opportunities for us to be able to attack in the middle, uh, to attack the user. So you see here, here's another rendition of it, right? They go there. Now I've got, you know, that post has a chance to actually burn everybody over the middle of the field. So you see how simple but yet effective this play concept really is. This is also a really, really, really good play um, against any kind of pressure. So like right here, for example, we're going to send a little cover three uh, pressure and what you're going to notice is as soon as we motion this guy they're going to have to do some stuff right one of the things they're going to have to do is they're going to have to base align so they base align and watch here the flat goes there and i could throw that little quick read right off the ball right there if the user goes left i can throw right to my quick out to my tight end or to my post route so this play just breaks down man and zone coverages really 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 well it's the shallow crossing concept out of bunch you can do it from anything um, i like to do it out of mesh post now you can if you want to let's say that you have the hot route master you can set it up and it can actually look something like this right here, right, if we want it to. So we could do a concept that looks kind of like this now. And now we're running the same concept. We're just running it in a different direction, and we're going to get the same result. So uh, really effective play here. The shallow concept, uh, crossing uh, concept out of bunch, I think, is one of the best passing concepts uh, this year at beating man, at beating zone coverage. You can manipulate the user a lot in the middle of the field, and it just gives you a lot of opportunities. I think the shallow cross concept, no matter what offense you run, is an absolute must-add concept to your offense, and I think it's going to help you take your game to the next level immediately if you can start implementing this concept. This, this concept right here is literally the best man-beating concept in the game this year. It's the most consistent, the most effective concept. Um, if you can actually throw to wide open players and they actually catch the ball, you know, it's going to be very helpful for you. But again, here you're just seeing this thing just roast man coverage in, in a lot of different directions, as you can see right there. So if you want to learn the rest of the offense, make sure you join the Patreon. The link will be down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.